What's up YouTube, I'm Mike. Today I'm back with another quick video. Uh, I wanted to do a reaction video to the interview that Tony Huge did with Cody Coppa. Um, when I saw that this video had been released, uh, one of my subscribers um, actually alerted to me, alerted me to the existence of this video uh, in one of the comments, uh, I think it was yesterday or today, I can't remember. And I've gotta be honest, when when I heard that he had been interviewed by Tony Huge, I, I got nervous because I have been championing this championing this kid since I came across him um, on the Generation Iron uh, article. Uh, he and I have had a little, you know, a little bit of back and forth on Instagram, and uh, so I was a little bit nervous because obviously the typical go-to reaction from any adult or, or you know whether they're in the bodybuilding community or not is you hear that there's a 14 year old kid who's on social media bragging about uh, using Trenbolone of all things like of all the steroids this kid chose to talk about publicly it was basically one of the most hated controversial misunderstood powerful uh, steroids that have ever been produced and so the e even I when I hear about a 14 year old using this you automatically assume the worst you automatically assume this kid is going to be like the big SM kid that I made a video about I linked it on one of my previous videos you automatically assume this is gonna be some punk ass kid that has no idea what he's doing that is that is bragging about using a performance enhancing drug purely to get clout to get a couple of views to try to pretend to be something he's not basically you you don't imagine anything positive is going to come out of this situation and so when i started interacting with him and i started looking at his content I immediately got a feel that this might be a different kind of person we're dealing with here. It was certainly not um, consistent with the big SM kid that I made the video about many years ago. He he already seemed to, to be, to me, uh, relatively savvy when it comes to social media. He's made some funny posts. He made another... Uh, <laughs> he made another really funny post today about Greg Doucette that I got a big laugh out of. In fact, my son, who has now had some communication with him, uh, sent me, he, he actually, I was in the gym tonight, and Paul sent me the, uh, the video that Cody made, kind of making fun of Greg Doucette. So the kids clearly got some balls on him. And so I was nervous when I sat down to watch this video that he was going to step in one of the, I mean, basically innumerable num of, you know, uh, uh, landmines that he could possibly step on. I mean, this kid is literally walking through a, a minefield when you're 14 years old, you're on social media bragging about using Trimbalone. There there's basically just about any step you could possibly take when you're trying to express yourself, when you're trying to explain your motivations, there, it's like a 99% chance that every step you're going to take is going to be a misstep and somebody's going to use something you said against you to try to prove that you are in fact just some arrogant, ignorant, punk ass kid who doesn't know what he's doing and is, is likely uh, you know, hurting himself. And nothing could possibly have been further from the truth in this interview that this 14-year-old young man uh, very bravely set through with a very, very big name in the bodybuilding community. I, I can't even imagine what it must have been like to be 14 years old being interviewed by Tony Huge, uh, one of the biggest personalities in all of bodybuilding, uh, who, has a, who has a controversial following in and of himself, but I don't want to waste time in this particular video talking about Tony. I think Tony did a phenomenal job in this interview. This whole, this whole video, as far as I'm, as I'm concerned, is a masterpiece. What I want to talk about briefly is, 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 is to just basically re reiterate what a phenomenal job <laughs> that Cody did in handling all of the questions that Tony threw his way. Um, he, he displayed during this interview that he is he's no idiot. The kid was very well spoken and he very clearly has a, a, a foundation that he's building from. He talked about his training split. He's got a good, intelligent, wise training split. He, he says he's training every single day with no rest 
which at first you want to go, oh, that's probably not a good idea. But he explained that he's basically doing a bro split. And so each individual muscle is getting three to four days rest between the next time that he's beating it up in the gym. And so each muscle group that he's working is, in fact, getting rest. Um, working out seven consecutive, you know, you're working out every single day obviously is going to put some strain on the neurological system likely but uh but maybe not i mean you know if you're if you're training an hour hour and a half a day um who's to say that 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 that's necessarily a bad thing shortly certainly for short periods of time he admitted that he's been training daily for about the last month and that he's continuing to grow and feel strong and so those are the fact that he's getting stronger and that he's growing are signs that he's not overtraining, that he's not uh, doing anything negative to his body. If he was if he was training too much, he would not consistently see strength gains and body weight gains. Um, he displayed that he he is well versed in his diet. He spoke very intelligently about uh, you know what he eats and, and and the calories that he's taking, how much weight he's gained. He even he even expressed that he, he does you know he uses protein powders, but he would prefer to get the majority of his calories from whole foods. But this is another example of a kid that is wise beyond his years, far and away different than pretty much anything I've ever seen in the bodybuilding space when it comes to to minors trying to lift. And this is true. I mean, you know, th this kid is no SARM goblin, right? There's a million kids out there. Who are, who are taking SARMs, they have no idea what they're doing, they have no consistent training, they have ter terrible diets, they're doing it for all of the wrong reasons, and this kid is taking Trenbolone, the godfather of all steroids, the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, the ambrosia of the gods, and he is displaying in this video that he is, in fact, mature enough to handle it. He's displaying in this video that he is no idiot, that he, he's got his training split down. He's got his diet down. He was honest about his motivation. You know, why did you get into this? Tony asked him why he got into to bodybuilding. He wanted to have six-pack abs. And then when he started lifting, he basically fell in love with the sport and he just wanted to get as big as he could get. He was honest about the fact that, that yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm short. He, he considers himself to be short for his age. He's in that same situation my son is in. They're, they're within an inch of each other. My son is on the short side. Most of his peers are taller than him. And so Cody seemed to be aware that in the society we live in, it can be difficult for, for shorter men to succeed. But notice again, Cody being wise beyond his years when he says, you know, I don't use that as a crutch, basically. It, it, it's not like I have to work harder to get girls or work harder to succeed because I'm short. It's all about the way you carry yourself. I mean, this is like a 35, 40-year-old man talking out of a 14-year-old kid. This is a level of wisdom and maturity that you very, very rarely see in life. I don't see this level of wisdom and maturity in my peers and I'm 43 years old and here this kid is at 14 sitting in front of one of the biggest names in bodybuilding and he is handling his business like I said there was a million possible missteps and so far in the video he has he has not stepped on a single landmine he's not said a single stupid thing that you would associate with it with a young man who does not know what he's doing um, he talked about his confidence level and how and how he attributes uh, the, the the hormones to his elevated confidence. So he's not pretending to be somebody he's not. He's not pretending to be King Dingling that just got on roids and it only made it better. He was honest about saying, no, definitely the hormones have boosted my confidence level. Um, and then one of the other things as a parent myself. I thought this kid did a really good job of. Tony helped out, obviously. He protected his parents. He, you know, Tony says, "Hey, we got, we, you know, we're doing this video with your parents' permission, but they're asleep right now." He's not trying to glorify all of the things he's doing in front of his parents. Obviously, they can see the change in his, change in his body on a personal level. I almost hope, hope his dad is like me. I almost hope he's getting advice from his dad or from somebody in his immediate family who's helping him out with this. But whoever's helping him, he did a phenomenal job of protecting them because he's, he's clearly learning from somebody but this is a very controversial topic. It's a very dicey situation. You know, if my kid goes out on the street 
and gets a hold of, uh, of something on the street, I'm not responsible for that. But if he starts using anabolics inside of my own home, somebody could try to start to point the finger. It shouldn't be any different, but I'm afraid in the society that we live in, it could be. And Cody did a really good job of protecting his family from the things that he has chosen to do, which is yet again another sign of the exceptional maturity level that we're dealing with here. Um, what else? He was honest about cardio. Tony asked him, are you doing your cardio? He didn't. At no point in this video does this kid appear to be BSing at all. He is just completely straight shooter. He reminds, he, he reminds me of me a lot, honestly. This kid is just telling it like it is. He actually responded to me in, 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 in uh, actually I think he told my son that he appreciated my content because I speak the truth. I speak the facts. This young man is doing exactly that. He's being totally transparent at, at his own detriment because the society around us is not ready for Cody Copa. They're not, the society is not ready for people like me. Society is used to being lied to and dealing with people who are fake and hide. Everybody who's running around claiming natty, all I do is eat chicken rice and broccoli when clearly they're on the needle. There's a million guys out there who are using and abusing anabolic steroids and they lie through their teeth about it. And this kid has chosen to be truthful and honest and forthcoming and he is paying the price but he's also... Uh, he's also experiencing the dividends. This kid is going to blow up. This, if this kid continues what he is doing, and he continues doing it safely, he is going to build a phenomenal brand, which he talks about in the video is one of his goals. <laughs> At this point, I don't know how he could possibly fail. Uh, what else did he say? When, I, when, when Tony asked him about, you know, how do your parents feel about, you, you know, you getting in the gym and getting healthy, and he explained that they're, that they're happy about it. That it's, it's a good thing. They view it as a positive. That he's not like some of, of the other kids his age who are out smoking and drinking and getting into trouble. When asked what he would probably be doing if he wasn't in the gym, he said probably wasting 16 hours a day playing video games. I mean, what a great answer. This is another example of where this kid did not take a single solitary misstep. He's like, you know what? I'd probably be wasting my life playing video games. Instead, I'm building a phenomenal physique. I'm getting real world experience. I'm building a brand. Here I am talking to Tony Huge of all people because I'm not wasting my life away playing some stupid video game that's never going to get him anywhere. He's 14 years old and he is already building a brand. He's already getting worldwide recognition and he is showing in this video that he deserves it. That he has has in fact earned it. That he's not just some idiot who's jumped on some, some sauce that he doesn't understand. Clearly he understands the game. Otherwise he would not be able to speak so intelligently about his training and his diet and his motivations. He wouldn't be able to say the right things to protect the people who, who, who are in his life who may or may not be helping him. He says he trains alone. That he doesn't even listen to music. He takes his pre-workout, he gets in the gym and he goes to work. Again, guys, I just can't say it enough. This is wisdom beyond his years. This is wisdom above and beyond most 35 to 40 year olds. This is a one in a million kid. This is a remarkable human being that we are looking at. And he does not deserve the level of hate that he is getting. This, man, this young man is showing his true colors and that he is deserving of all of the success that he's having. Uh, that he's having. He talks about potentially uh, you know, turning this into a business. Uh, what else did he say? Um, I think that's the, I, I, I rarely do I have notes for these videos, but because this is not just a rant, I'm trying to give credit where credit is due. The point again that I was trying to make from the beginning is that Tony asked him quite a few questions and there were so many possible answers that he could have given and any one of those wrong answers would have uh, allowed the vast majority of viewers to write him off and because he handled himself so well you can't write this kid off you cannot write him off as some young punk moron who's just trying to do something stupid for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months to get a little attention. He is showing that he knows exactly what he's doing, that he's prepared to do it for the long run. He talked about overcoming injuries. He talked about, he was candid in talking about how he was able to bench press 
225 pounds at 145 pound body weight. That is an unbelievable feat of strength. But what does he say? He could have been cocky and arrogant and disgusting and everything that adults hate about a young man who's going through puberty. He thinks he knows everything. What did he say? He said, you know what? I have to be honest. My spotter touched the bar, so I can't really count it, but the weight moved really easily. I feel like I could definitely put up 225 on my own. <laughs> How could you, you could not have scripted a better answer than he gave. Total transparency from front to back. He displayed a level of maturity that again, uh, you just don't see in people twice his age. So it feels really good from my perspective to be a person who started championing this, this, this kid's efforts the second that I saw him. I was right in his, in, in his um, Instagram comments. I've been attacking people who are attacking him, trying to, to be a voice of reason in his commentary. And clearly, Tony Huge seems to be coming at this from the same angle that, that I am, unlike the Greg Doucettes of the world who are total, absolute sellouts. And uh, hopefully this kid is going to get some good advice from somebody who's older and wiser than him. I think he's probably already been getting it. But he has got the makings of something phenomenal, and I cannot wait to watch and see how he progresses. So if you have not seen this young man, you definitely should check him out. Uh, it's great that, that, that Tony seems, uh, you know, Tony's in a un unique position because he's in Thailand. You know, I would love to give the kid advice, but I'm not going to get myself in trouble about it. One of the things that it seems uh, you can kind of tell from Tony's reaction when Cody says, you know, I'm not really looking at growth hormone a lot because there's not really anything I can do about the, the height, that, that, you know, my genetic limit when it comes to height. And Tony kind of grins and tilts his head. I suspect they're going to have a conversation off camera about the fact that there is something that you can do about your height. This is something that I've been talking to my son about quite a bit. Um, I uncovered the other day that... Uh, uh, if you it, basically if, if, a, if a boy going through puberty um, lowers his estrogen level, it will keep his growth plates open. So there are studies that I talked about on my Discord. I plan on making an entire video about this. This is actually something that has been studied in 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 boys that are going through puberty. Uh, if you administer growth hormone for 36 months prior to the typical age when the growth plates would close, which is 16, and then use, for example, a drug like a Remedex to lower the, 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 the boy's estrogen level, the, the lower estrogen level will prevent the growth plates from, from closing and will allow him to grow bigger than he otherwise would grow naturally. In the study that I read, that again, I will make an entire video about, the, the boys who underwent 36 months of treatment with growth hormone and then a Remedex ended up gaining 2.7 inches of extra height above and beyond what was predicted to be their adult height. That's phenomenal. That's a huge, I, I wish to God I could turn back the clock. I'm 5'10", I would have killed to be six foot, six foot one. So there is clearly a pathway for this young man if he should choose to, to accept it, <laughs> where he could uh, actually put on, um, uh, uh, he, he could actually add inches to his otherwise genetic potential when it comes to height. So hopefully um, this young man is going to continue to uh, keep killing in the gym the way he is, get some good guidance, and I suspect that he will be competitive in a short period of time. And I suspect that if he continues with this level of maturity, we are looking at the future of bodybuilding. We are right now at the ground floor of an up and coming champion. And that for somebody like me is extremely exciting to watch. I hope all of you can, can, can see this for what it is and give this kid a chance and stop shitting on all of his goals and dreams and aspirations because I think we are looking at greatness in the making. As always, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.